What's going on YouTube? You're watching Fixed by Shaq and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to show you how you can fix the issue of your Apple Watch not pairing to your iPhone device in here. In my case I've got in here an iPhone 16 Pro but if you've got a different iPhone model or a different Apple Watch do not worry this is going to work for you as well. Hey my name is Shaq and in this channel I help you fixing tech related issues and I also share cool tech hacks and tutorials. So if you're into tech content consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel. Now jump straight into the tutorial as you were able to see as soon as I unlocked my phone and I brought the Apple Watch closer to my phone I was able to get that message or pop-up which says you've got an Apple Watch and tap it to connect it to that specific Apple Watch. Now uh, first things first do not worry I only have my charger connected here because I do have low battery on my Apple Watch that's why I've got my charger connected. Now you might be in a situation where you are unable to see this pop-up right here and this might be due to various reasons. I'm going to show you all the reasons in here. Now first things first I'm going to tap on X because I'm not going to connect it that way because I want to make sure that you actually get all the manual ways of performing the workarounds to connect it in case it's not connecting automatically. Now first things first in here if you've got an Apple watch which was connected to another device it might be the case that you might be in a situation where the Apple watch is actually ready to synchronize with that old device. Maybe a few seconds or something or a few bug issues are actually making that specific Apple watch not being available to connect to a brand new device. So if that's the case or if you're not here on this hello home screen to connect it from scratch what I would recommend you guys to do is to first connect the charger it's very important connect it here and then connect the other part to the socket as well and connect it to the power source now once your Apple watch is charging what you're gonna do is simply press and hold the side key you want to press and hold the side key until you see this slide to power off you're gonna release the key of course and then you're going to press and hold the side button in here. Now, once you press and hold the side button, in my case, it's not going to work right now because I'm connecting directly. You're going to see an erase option over there. Press and hold this one from here and you'll be able to see an erase device option in there. So once you see the erase device option, you want to make sure you erase the device and bring it to factory settings. That will immediately bring your device to factory settings. Now, once that's done, you'll be brought to the same screen again and then you're going to try connecting again by unlocking your iPhone close to the Apple Watch. Now, if you simply are unable to see the pop-up, even after performing the reset here of your Apple Watch, the factory reset, we're going to search for the Apple Watch app on our device. This is an inbuilt app which comes with the device. This is how it looks like, as you can see in here, okay? So what you wanna do is simply tap on the Apple Watch app and open it real quick. Next up, you'll be brought to this homepage which says start painting from scratch. Now, if you do not have that app installed for example let me quickly press and hold the watch app tap on remove app delete the app and install it from my device you'll have to hop into app store real quick and install it from scratch here from the apple store now Please note that in most scenarios, in order for you to see that pop-up showing up when you bring the Apple Watch close to your phone, you need to have the app installed. So most people are unable to see that specific pop-up because they do not have the application installed. So what I would recommend you guys is to simply go here into search and here at the top, simply search for watch. Tap on watch and then you'll be able to find the Apple Watch app down here. Now, once you find the Apple Watch app, the next thing you need to do is simply download this specific application real quick. Let me quickly download it, okay? Here we go. The download has started. It's gonna take you a couple of seconds. It's a really small app in terms of size. Next up, simply tap on open. Now, once you tap on open, allow notifications. And next up, you wanna tap here on start paying to start the paying process. Now, you wanna make sure you've got your Apple Watch here side to side. Now, if you don't wanna go with the start paying, you can lock it, unlock it, and see if that specific pop-up shows up. Now, it should show up. If it doesn't, no worries, open up the app and see if you have the start paying option in here. Now, if you do not have the start paying option, simply close here the Apple Watch app, bring down the control center, make sure that Bluetooth and Wi-Fi is turned on. This doesn't really matter, but it's just a precautionary measure if you have a really old iPhone device. Next up, open up watch again and let's tap on start painting. Once you tap on start painting, you'll be able to see two options of painting, which is to set up for yourself or to set up for a family member. Let me tap on set up for myself real quick. 
And immediately you'll be able to see this camera uh, showing up in here, the scanner at the top. So what you need to do is simply scan this specific, uh, it's not a barcode, it's something that Apple uses to identify that specific Apple Watch and it's unique. So all you need to do is quickly bring it down in here. Now remember you need to be connected to the internet on your iPhone device. Just keep it closed in here and this should scan all this identity that Apple uses. And then you've got your Apple Watch is paired in just a few seconds. Now over here, I've got two options. For example, I have restore from backup and I do have another option which says set up as a new Apple Watch. I'll be going with set up as a new Apple Watch as if this is just an Apple Watch that I've just bought and pretending that I never had an Apple Watch in the past, right? Over here, we've got the wrist preference in here where I'm gonna go with left. I'm gonna use it on my left hand and then I'm gonna tap on continue. It's gonna take you a couple seconds. Now make sure that throughout this process, you've got the Apple Watch close to your iPhone device and make sure that you've got enough charge in here. So what I would recommend you guys is to charge even before performing this and then performing once you have a lot of charge or battery in here now if you have any issue you can also go on with the process while having the uh, charger connected into your apple watch just the way i'm doing it right now as i do have a really low battery on my apple watch now next up you'll be able to see the terms and conditions in here we need to accept those it's very important simply scroll down read it carefully and then tap on agree and this will allow you to move into the next phase where you need to add a passcode here to your apple watch now over here we're going to create a passcode real quick let me tap here and create a passcode and i'm going to type in my four digit passcode on my apple watch in here so my password is going to be one 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 two that's going to be my apple watch password this code can be easily guessed do you still want to continue yes i'm going to use that specific one 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 two let's re-enter it one 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 two and here we go the process of painting my apple watch with my phone has started and just let's be patient and wait a couple more seconds and let our iphone and our apple watch do its thing next up we've got the size here of the text okay we can easily configure this it's so convenient the way it's synchronizing whenever we want to increase and decrease the size of the text in here i'll go with the default standard size let me tap on continue and then i've got in here a setup later in apple watch tap on ok shared settings i've got in here my information here and then i've got continue activity i can skip this step right now i'll tap on continue okay and then we can select in here which type of view we wish to have the grid one or the list view i'll be going with the grid one tap on continue and this will sign into your apple id account now what it's doing it's actually linking so you do have your apple watch every time you lose it or something you're able to find it find my apple watch or something like that now it's now syncing and let me tap here and get to know your watch to learn more about my watch real quick. Now it's now syncing and all my information is actually being transferred to my Apple Watch and this process takes actually a couple minutes. All you need to do is just wait for a couple more seconds in here until all this bar gets completed, until it loads completely so you can actually now get access to your Apple Watch. At the moment, if I tap on done, I'm, unla I'm unable to use my Apple Watch. We need to wait until the process is complete. Now this depends on how much data or information you do have to actually sync with your Apple Watch. So with something tricky, you just need to be patient and wait for a couple minutes. This can take five, 10 minutes, all the way to 15 minutes if you've got a lot, a lot, a lot of information in here. Now, this is actually how you can diagnose and see if there is any issue here with the Apple Watch. Do not forget, erase the Apple Watch before. This will completely disconnect it. Specifically, these old Apple Watches like mine, they do have a few connectivity issues. So make sure you do have a lot of battery and use a charger if that's the case, because the battery usually it's pretty old, so it takes a while for you to actually actually perform a few things. I hope this video really helped you and if you find my content useful consider subscribing, like the video and let me know in the comment section if you do have any doubt or any issues so I can get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching Fixed by Shack and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.